Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Sloyer and I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix and today we're going to be talking about logging in Bluemix. There's three different ways of getting your logs out of Bluemix. The first actually involves using the web UI. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to get started, however there's some limitations with it. The second involves using the Cloud Foundry command line. That's a little bit better. Uh, you can get a lot more real-time logs out of it and you can see your logs. However, there is not a you can't go back in the past and see previous logs. So the third option involves using external logging providers such as Paper Trail. So without further ado, let's jump into it and go check out the three different logging mechanisms. So the first way we're going to check out our logs, we already have an app up and running to get here. We click on Dashboard in the top in Bluemix. Then we'll get to see our application. We'll go ahead and click our, on our application. And this brings us to the dashboard for our application. So we'll go ahead and click on files and logs over here on the left. And this will bring us to a view where we can see basically all the files for our application. So a folder that has app, this is our source code for our app, and a folder called logs. We'll expand that. And there is a, a file in here called staging task log. You'll notice there's not a lot of information here. This is some of the information you really get only when the application uh, starts up and running on Bluemix. Um, the logs in this folder kind of vary from runtime to runtime. So they, they differ from Node to Java to, to PHP to Python, et cetera. So sometimes you'll have your full application logs here. Sometimes you won't. So this is really easy to get started. However, sometimes you're missing a lot of your logs in this folder. The next method actually involves using the command line for Cloud Foundry. So you have to have this installed first. Uh, but if we want to see all the apps we have running, we can type CF apps. It'll show me the name of the applications I have running. In this case, I only have one. So to get the logs of the app, I can type CF logs logging dash example. So it's going to connect to Bluemix and it's going to stream the logs in real time from the application. So to show this off, let's go back to the web browser and go look at it. So my application's up and running here. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. So let's go back and check out our log now since this is in real time. So we'll see a couple of events here that happened. These are actually the, um, the request that's going through the, the load balancer in, in Bluemix, in front of Bluemix. So you can see these are the logs uh, for the HTTP access request. So we have a style sheet, we have an icon for the app, and also we have the main page we hit as well. So you're getting uh, the access logs for your application, but you can also pick up things like system out and system error as well. So if we wanted to pick out a system out event, let's go ahead and trigger one. Inside of my application, I'm going to be logging out uh, basically hello when I hit this resource. So we'll go ahead and hit this resource. And it's going to say hi. And the, the log, it's going to show hello. And here it says hello. And it also shows the request I hit slash hi as well. So you can actually watch the logs here in real time streaming mode. Additionally, we can also go back and, and look at logs in the past for a little bit at our application. This is very useful if you're trying to debug your application to fail to start or something that just happened very, very recently in the past. So to do this again, we type CF apps to check out our app name. Type CF logs, login example. Don't hit enter here. We're going to append dash dash recent here. This is going to tell Cloud Foundry we only want the logs that recently happened. So you're going to see the same thing as logs we just ha saw, but uh, the logs are going to end here, and it's not going to continue the streaming them. It just shows um, the events from the past. So if we scroll up, we can see some of the events of the application starting here, for example, and then also the deployment of the app where we saw earlier that staging log that was available through the Bluemix UI. So we're going to go through one last option. The last option actually involves using an external logging provider. You might be asking yourself why you want to do that. The reasoning is your application logs will be saved indefinitely up to the third party provider for your, for your logging and you can do full text search and you can get the logs in real time. So it's really, really powerful. The best thing you really want to use for a production. So uh, different types of logging providers, you can use Paper Trail, Splunk, the list goes on and on, but we're going to use Paper Trail today, but you can really use almost any syslog or syslog TLS or HTTPS post endpoint. We're going to be using uh, syslog TLS today. So let's get started with Paper Trail. We'll go to Paper Trail. Click on Dashboard here at the top. Click on Add Systems. We need this long URL up here at the top. We'll go ahead and copy this. But before we go away, we'll click on 
where it says sender requires port 514. We'll click on that. We'll scroll down here. We'll click on I use Heroku or Cloud Foundry. We're using Cloud Foundry here. So we'll we'll uh, we'll type in what should we call it here? Uh, we'll just call it Bluemix US since that's where we're running. Click on save. Okay, it doesn't didn't like my name. We'll just call it Bluemix US. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and copy this this long URL up here at the top. We'll copy that off. Make sure it's 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 correct after you go through the other situations. We'll go back to our command line. We're going to type in CF cups. This stands for create user provided service dash l syslog colon slash slash the URL from pa paper trail. We'll, before we hit enter, we'll need to give it a name though. The name will let's call it paper trail dash sys trail dash syslog. Hit enter. I butchered the name a little bit, but we can go ahead and use this. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this exactly. We'll do a CF BS. BS stands for bind sort services. It's just a little shortcut. The name of our application, logging dash example. Then the name of the service. We'll paste that. Hit enter. And we'll go ahead and connect the, the logging service to our application. The last step is actually just restarting the app. So we'll go ahead and copy this from the pa page right here. Paste it and hit enter. And I'll, this will take a couple seconds to restart the application. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and where the application comes up. Yours will, shouldn't take too long to restart. So we can see the application starting to come back up here. And uh, as the application, application starting to come back up, some of these logs are actually being pro propagated to paper trail already. Let's go back and check out paper trail. So we can see some of these logs are coming through. So what I named the application, I call it Bluemix US. You probably want to give it a more descriptive name, and maybe the name of the application. Some of the logs are starting to flow through already. That's awesome. So let's go back to our command line to see if it's finished installing yet. So the application's up. Awesome, let's go hit the application and check out some logs and flow into paper trail in real time. So we'll go ahead and refresh this a couple times. Let's pump some events into paper trail. Let's hit the, this other URL. Cool, we got some events flowing to paper trail. So we can actually see in real time those events just came through in the paper trail. The, re, the requests, the, the logs are all coming through in real time. We can actually do cool things with searching. We can search for the word high here. We can actually just see that one line right there. That's really kind of awesome. So this gives you the full flexibility of logging and production, really the best use case here. It's pretty easy to set up. So to recap, we went through three different logging mechanisms today, really kind of three and a half, but the first one was actually using the Bluemix UI to get some of the logs. Some of these vary from uh, language to language, and it's really not the best all catch-all. The next is actually using the Cloud Foundry command line. You can get real-time streaming logs through this, and you can also get recent logs. So the recent logs only go back about 100 lines or so, 200 lines. So you can actually peer into the past. I use that a lot for when I'm trying to debug when an application failed to start, for example. Or if I'm actually running the, an application test, I don't use the, the recent argument and just use the Cloud Foundry command line to get the logs. The last and probably the most bulletproof method is actually using an external logging provider such as Paper Trail or any syslog, syslog TLS, or HTTPS post endpoint. And you can pipe off the logs anywhere you want, real time, and save them forever. And that's really the best kind of way to store your logs and use them outside of Bluemix. Thanks again for watching today. And I'd love to have your feedback on Twitter. Um, I'm on Twitter at jslur. And thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.